Hello, I'm Amy Voigt and I teach English at uh, Wiley E. Groves High School in Beverly Hills, Michigan, which is part of the Birmingham Public Schools, um, primarily 9th and 11th graders um, and really primarily writing. I came to Schmoop through our media specialist who suggested it to me and said this is something that you might want to take a look at to help your students. Um, and I was a little wary of it because I'm not crazy about spark notes, I'm not crazy about cliff notes. I wanted my students to actually read the book. This, this was a website where my students could spend time looking at text and thinking about text. They would learn to think for themselves, which is probably the most important thing we can do as teachers is to say, okay, here's the words, go forth and learn something better. Um, I mean, one of the things about teaching in a college prep program is that ninth graders often come to us um, with lots of great ideas and some ninth graders come as reluctant readers. Not every ninth grader wants to read the whole novel um, and so sometimes you have to find different ways to encourage them and, and Schmoop is a way to, to, to do that. I send my reluctant readers to Schmoop because they like the online factor. They like being able to look things up and, and, and click and point and, and, and save things. And then they feel more confident about the text. Uh, some of my students are also um, not students who qualify for English as a second language, but they're the kind of students whose parents speak a second language at home. And so they sometimes come to Schmoop and, and just get the support that they need. It doesn't give them the paper, they, don't, they can't purchase the essay from, from Schmoop, um, but it gives them places to go to start thinking about themes, about study questions, about character development, without being told this is the answer. As teachers, we want students to find the answers for themselves, and Schmoop is a way to help them do that.